What's up guys, it's Matt Theme Park Updates here and today we're here at Universal Studios Hollywood starting off right away with a lot of Halloween Horror Nights construction. I mean, right now as we're here, he's currently painting the front of one of these new mazes coming to Horror Nights. Um, I don't know about too much about Horror Nights, but if you look, it is themed as uh, the front of the, or the entrance of the maze, or I don't know, I think this should be the entrance, but uh, as a book right there, you can see the little pages that they set out, but yeah, so far he's painting right now. We don't know completely what the theming is. Um, but a lot of people have been trying to take guesses in terms of like Frankenstein or something like that. But as of right now, yeah, he's painting. A lot of new updates here at Universal. We haven't been here in a while. I haven't made a video in a while. Last time I made a video, I was actually wearing my mask. Now we don't have to at all. But yeah, look at this. Currently working on the front of this new Halloween Horror Nights maze. And we're gonna be able to see a lot more updates here and get to ride a lot of rides since I haven't been here in a while. If you guys have heard, I did start working at Six Flags. So if you guys ever see me there, I'm in the area of Tatsu, Superman, Ninja, and Roaring Rapids. So if you guys ever see me, just tell me hi. But yeah, starting off the day with some Halloween Horror Nights construction. Since the last time we were here, they did have the Fast and Furious cars here with a lot of the different screens around the side to promote F9. But now since that is out, they have taken out the cars and some of the promotion leading up to the release date of Fast and Furious 9. But you can tell major differences along with, I don't know if they still have the, I, uh, Grad Bash is pretty much over, I, I think, um, from the last time I was here because they've been doing Grad Bash since. But they do still have these string lights up around the area of this courtyard. They do have these little stands going up soon. Scooby's over there. But I'll show you guys a clip right now, which is something really cool. At the Secret Life of Pets area in like what would be considered New York, they do have Snowball there. Snowball does talk to you. He's very interactive. He asks for your name. He can do whatever. He'll sing Panda for you if you want to, which I'll show you a clip of right now. So another update here for this refreshment stand. They did turn on these screens, which were not on before. So you can look for things like popcorn, pretzels, churros. Uh, things even like caramel apple cups, strawberry cups, pickles, soda, and like souvenir sippers here at this Coca-Cola refreshment stand. Another thing is they still do have these lighting stands as usual around the side of the courtyard area. But as I said, they did take away those cars over there. They did take away the screens, even though the stands are still up. They may replace that with something else very soon. Who knows, maybe teasers for Halloween Horror Nights. But yeah, so far, a pretty nice day here at Universal. They do have the misters on around the areas of where a lot of people walk. Since it has been super hot, a lot of people have been looking for these misters, reaching up to the like temperatures of 100 degrees. But right now, they do have Scooby out in the mystery machine. But yeah, um, not too bad recently compared to when we came last. When we came last, it was a lot busier and there were reservations in the place, which is really strange like waiting for Jurassic World for four hours, that was insane. But right now, not too bad. Jurassic World was as low as 35 minutes, which is something we're very happy to look at here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Making our way throughout the park, Donkey is still here doing meet and greets with people. Now they do have the social distancing guidelines all removed. As I said before, here he is. But yeah, a lot more packed as usual. People do still kind of stand away from each other just kind of like out of natural I don't know natural reaction I guess from the whole entire year or two's worth of social distancing and not opening anything but yeah donkey's here still doing his meet and greets and yeah we're gonna walk throughout the park and see how the rest of the park is I mean look pretty normal for a regular park day here um, it is a Monday though so we'll look at different things around the park and you'll see what it looks like on a Monday. So making our way to the special effects show area. I think it's going to be gone for good to be honest. Um, right now, like the screen's not even on saying it's closed. None of the signs are up. It's kind of just used as a seating area. Almost for people just to get food from nearby and sit down here in the shade with some misters on. But right now, special effects show is currently down. I think it will be gone for good to be honest. Um, I don't know why they would keep it, especially with all the signs and stuff being gone. But right now, yep, totally. The special flex show, maybe seeing that go soon. But not looking too bright for them overall. 
just probably going to go away. And now we're going to make our way through the rest of the park, making our way down towards the lower lot, probably hitting up Jurassic World, maybe get to ride the Simpsons ride or, or later on after the lower lot because I haven't been on that since it reopened. I have not been able to go on. Last time I came was actually during reservations, but right now you can tell what crowds are like on a Monday during the summer. Not horrible compared to usual. I mean, the weights have been a lot better because they have been riding people at full capacity and letting people on the rides as quick as possible. So we're gonna go check out how that process looks like right now. Since the last time we came, we had to be social distance. And now it's full capacity. We're gonna head down to the lower lot and check out Jurassic World. Making our way to Springfield, USA. You can see what the Simpsons ride looks like right now. Completely filled up inside, going out to the tongue of the ride. But currently listed at a 60 minute wait. Definitely a lot better since last time I came wasn't even open. I have not been here since it has been open, but Springfield in general has just been looking amazing. Uh, very life, like, I don't know, lifeful, I guess you could say. But yeah, looking at wait times, Jurassic's only at 35. So we're gonna head down there since last time we waited four hours for a Jurassic. Transformers listed at a 40, Mummy at 25, which is really nothing. Simpsons at 60, being the longest wait right now of today. But yeah, we're going to make our way down to the lower lot, see how things are down there. Everything has been looking really good, though, since the ending of all the coronavirus uh, guidelines, such as masks and as well as social distancing. But now we're going to make our way down to the lower lot. Now making our way down to the lower lot. Remember where they used to have these as grad bash. Now instead they have these as pride. The pride, um, they just had a whole entire celebration. I think recently they had an event, a pride night or something like that. But yeah, Universal is taking their time to set out different things like this to show their love for that part of the community and just how they they do care. But yeah, they did have a night, I think, separately just for that. They do have all of the different things around the park as well. This just being one of the many that they are putting around for that night. But yeah, that's another update here at the lower lot. Making our way over here by the studio store. They do have these different shirts around that are the Backlot Studio Tour shirts or merchandise. So they do not have um, anything relating to like other things they had before, whatever they had down here at, the, not the Backlot, what am I saying, the lower lot, but in terms of the merch they have out, they do have this Backlot Studio Tour merch uh, that you can grab down here at the studio store. But a lot of other stuff placed around, just your usual Simpsons merchandise and other stuff for the lower lot, including Jurassic World. But yeah, that's cool to see the backlot stuff put out down here at the lower lot. Now we're going to make our way into Jurassic World. Head on this ride during a hot day. I bet it will get busier throughout the day. But right now, weights aren't too bad, reaching like 35 minutes or even 30 minutes for Mummy, which are insane times because before when we were to come, it would be above 60 minutes for literally every ride. But yeah, now we're going to head on to Jurassic World and have some fun and hopefully get wet on this ride during a hot day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Another huge update here at Universal Studios Hollywood is the fact that they do have single riders. Before they were not offering single riders as a part of the COVID-19 guidelines. But right now, they do offer single rider on this side of the wall. On the other side, obviously, but they do have Express and other stuff around uh, placed in for Jurassic World. And just other rides in general to fit as many people as possible into different rides here at the park. As I said, they do have single riders in place as they did lift different COVID-19 guidelines here at Universal. But now we're going to head on to Jurassic World. Oh my, look, it, it hit my whole face, bro. We get so much more wet now. I know, well, you guys can't see that it's white, but like I got hit all over my shoulders. The water from the other side of the, the trees are hitting us right now, but we got absolutely destroyed. I had to like wipe off my glasses like four times this ride. You usually don't get that wet, especially like in uh, the first part where you go to Herbivore Valley or whatever they call it. Um, the water was so delayed. And now there's a helicopter flying right over Universal. It's the ACU. <laughs> exactly. Wait, 
Oh my god. That okay, if you sit on the edge, that end splash is gonna get you messed up. We finally made our way down here to Waterworld. I guess you could say up since it is at the front of the park, but we haven't been here since it did reopen. Ever since so the guidelines have been gone, they did reopen Waterworld with maximum capacity. With everyone being able to enjoy the show once again, here with JP and some other people. But yeah, we're gonna have some fun watching Waterworld for the first time in forever. Over here at Forbidden Journey, they also do have single riders for yeah, Forbidden Journey, so they didn't have this closed off before because, you know, for COVID reasons and COVID guidelines, they had it closed, but now you are able to use it, and now we're going to head through the express line into the Forbidden Journey. Just made our way here into the Simpsons ride with JP. <laughs> we just used our express pass to cut the line, basically, and get over here. This guy, I don't know what he's trying to do, but we're about to get onto Simpsons, hopefully get a good seat in the whole entire theater. I don't know what the heck I just stepped on, but this express pass has been doing us pretty good today. And now we're gonna <laughs> now we're gonna get into the ride and see if we get a good spot. Making our way down, I don't know, man. This looks kind of kind of weird. Sketchy. Yeah. Just <laughs> but trying to keep the kids that are left in the park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just don't question him. But we're making our way down towards the ride right now. Update here: the ride broke down, so now we're gonna get express passes to go to a different ride. But I still haven't ridden this ride ever since they reopened it, following the COVID guidelines being removed. But yeah, this sucks. It, like Universal does not want me to go on the Simpsons ride at all. Making our way down to the lower lot, and we can get a little bit of an update on the Halloween Horror Nights maze over here. You guys can see a little bit of the speakers right there. There's some speakers where my finger just was, along with some lighting placed around the building itself. Um, that hut got a little bit of theming added to it, but for the most part, nothing else new. On the other side over there, they just do have that fence up maybe adding to the theming as well of that maze along with the Nintendo World getting a few updates along with a lot of scaffolding on the outside around those buildings if you can see that so they may be doing a lot of exterior work very soon especially on the left side over there they have a lot of the structural supports up all that's next all that's left next is to do the actual design like you guys see those covers over there along with a lot of the other scaffolding on the exterior of these buildings but yeah, that's just basically leading up itself to being designed for the outside. We already have all these green little mountains on the outside as well, knowing where that's come from. But now we're just going to wait for the, uh, those things to be added, for those details and designs to be added as well, A lot of with a lot more coloring coming in with that. But looking at the lower lot, pretty okay day today, not super busy. And here's that maze one more time with those speakers on the outside and that hut getting a little bit more of that theming in but for the most part just those speakers and a lot new scaff of the new scaffolding around Nintendo World. Well that happened. It's stuck. We're on Jurassic World and uh and, um, the and it's stuck. They're gonna send it regardless. Oh well I mean good time for pictures I guess. Um Okay guys, over here, like I was saying earlier, they do just have this as a designated dining area, but right now, the misters are literally just absolutely demolishing these chairs, getting it completely wet. Um, there's no wind really doing it any favors down there, but right now, they did change their sign to designated dining areas on the screen. So that's interesting because I'm pretty sure this show will be gone, but as, of for, as for that right now, definitely looks like it's going to go away and... That's going to wrap up today's vlog here and updates at Universal Studios Hollywood. We're going to start making our way out on this beautiful sunset. But yeah, look at that. Designated dining areas. Everything has changed up. And now we're going to make our way out. Okay, yeah, this is going to wrap up today's fun day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Got to do a lot with JP and some other friends here. We had tons of fun at the park. But yeah, closing out on this nice sunset on a Monday night. They do close earlier at 8 p.m. So do expect that if you do come on a Monday night. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video with JP and everyone else. We're gonna catch you guys in the next video.